guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently they put a new Dollar Tree by my house and of course I had to go in there because who doesn't love Dollar Tree? And I happened to go down the hair care aisle and I came across pretty much everything that you would need for a wash and go. Most of the stuff I got is by this brand, which is this Shea Solutions brand. Oh my gosh, why can't I say that? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this shampoo and everything that I got was literally only a dollar. So the whole wash and go totaled out to be $5, of course not including tax, so a little bit more than $5. Um, but I'm starting off with the shampoo and the shampoo actually was not bad. You guys know if you've been following me for a while, I do not like shampoos like that. I just don't like the way they make my hair feel. But this one didn't do a bad job at all it is a cleansing shampoo so it definitely did strip my hair a bit but nothing too drastic and it left my hair actually really shiny and soft So this is a sulfate shampoo, but it is paraben free and I believe that in the entire line is paraben free. Um, so I'm just going in one more time just to make sure everything is nice and clean, really focusing on my scalp and then dragging the rest of the, um, I guess, suds down to my strands just to make sure everything is clean and I'm going to go ahead and rinse it all out. Here's a close-up of my hair after rinsing out the shampoo and it definitely does feel clean. It does feel a little stripped like I said before but it does have a shine to it. And next I am going in with this Shea Solutions um, Deep Conditioner. This does have silicones in it which I typically avoid but it's a Dollar Tree haul so I couldn't really expect too much. Um, and this actually felt really good on my hair. It doesn't have a lot of slip like uh, a lot of deep conditioners especially my Lovely Bees conditioner. Um, definitely has a little bit more slip than this. So I don't really have that many tangles. I could typically finger detangle, which I'm doing with this, but it was, um, like I said, it didn't have as much slip as I'm normally used to, but it did make my hair feel nice. Not as soft as it normally would, but what could you really expect for a dollar, you know? So I like to put my shed hair against my wall and I just take it out when I get out the shower to keep it from going down the drain. Comment down below and let me know if you do the same thing. Once my hair was fully coated in the deep conditioner, I just went ahead and pinned it up and let it sit while I continued the rest of my shower and then I'll be back to rinse it out. So here's what my hair looks like after rinsing out the deep conditioner. Nice and shiny, not as soft as I know it could be, but it still felt nice, especially for a dollar. Um, so I went ahead and washed off and whatever and put my clothes on. And this is what my hair looks like. It's partially dry because I had it pinned up and I did a whole bunch of stuff before I sat down to film the rest of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off now and just taking this spray bottle. It has nothing but water in it just to re-wet my hair because I do like to style my hair when it is soaking wet. And then I'm going in with the Shea Solutions Leave-In. This leave-in I actually liked a lot. It felt really good on my hair and it actually had quite a bit of slip to it. So after the leave-in, I went on top with the Shea Solutions Curl Stretch Cream. And honestly, I think I could have did either or, either the leave-in or the cream. Because the cream just felt like a thicker version of the leave-in. Like it didn't have like any special properties or anything that I could feel like that. But it definitely moisturized my hair if you guys needed that information. Um, and then next, it was between these two gels. Either the olive oil one or the argan oil one. I love argan oil on my hair, so I decided to go with this one. Um, but I'm just smelling it just to see what it smells like. It had a really light scent. Um, all of this stuff has light scents. It's nothing too drastic. Um, but the, the Shea Solutions line actually smells really good, but not too powerful, if that makes sense. So I went ahead and just added the gel. I thought the gel was going to make my hair hard and crunchy because I think it does say hard hold on it, but it didn't. My hair still felt super duper uh, soft once it dried and the curls were definitely uniformed. Um, 
And yeah, I'm just going in with this fake dimming brush that I also got for a dollar at the Dollar Tree store. And I honestly think that I like this little purple brush way better than I like my dimming brush. Like, it clumped my curls together so nicely, you guys. Like, I'm definitely going to be using it. So I've just been going section by section, adding the water, adding the leave-in, then adding the curl cream, and then adding the gel. I decided to go for a little bit of a bang look this time, so I'm pulling my hair forward and just making sure um, that everything is nicely coated in all of the products. And then I just like to go in with a paper towel and kind of just like scrunch my curls up um, because they do get weighed down fairly easy and when I scrunch them, it gives them kind of a boost to curl up. If that makes sense, if you have hair like me, then you know exactly what I mean. And it kind of gets rid of the excess water without taking away the product. Like if I use the towel or a t-shirt, I feel like it would kind of suck up the product too. But because I'm using a paper towel, it doesn't really suck up anything but the water so my hair dries a bit faster. Um, and this is what my curls look like, still completely wet. I just want went ahead and I let my hair air dry for about maybe 30 minutes or so. I like to let my hair air dry typically, but I was in a rush to film the results on this. So I end up using um, my diffuser. This is a Con Air Infinity Blow Dryer, I believe. I'll link it down below. But this is what my hair looked like after letting it air dry for about 30 minutes. And then I went in with my diffuser to finish off the rest. So this is what my hair looks like after diffusing it for quite a bit actually um, and I want to say it's like 90% dry. My hair is never fully dry until the next day um, but this is what it looks like. Super soft. My curls look super defined and super bouncy and I actually really liked it a lot. So now I'm just going to go ahead and play with it and pick it out a bit because my hair did clump quite a bit together and because my hair is so fine I like big hair so I have to separate and pick quite a bit so that is what I'm going to be doing next. So my ending thoughts, I think it turned out pretty amazing, especially for a $5 total wash and go. Um, I will definitely be using these products again, at least until they run out because they worked really well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time I post. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one.